Hey guys, what's going on? It's Michaela and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing my hair. Um, I recently got my hair cut a couple weeks ago at the H2 Salon in Brooklyn and I got a nice blunt bob cut and it came out so good. I'll insert um, a picture here for you guys to see. It looked amazing. That's like the most dramatic thing I've had that I've done to my hair um, and I know that's nothing crazy but for me it is. Hoping to do some more fun stuff next year, maybe some color or something, who knows. But yeah, so for the last couple of weeks I've just been doing wash and goes and they've been great. Curls are so much more defined. Um, if I have any pictures, I'll post it. I don't think I took any pictures during that time. But if I do, I will show you guys how that has come out. But I've really been loving my wash and goes. It's kind of been letting my hair just like do whatever it wants to do. Like I'm not, I haven't been too particular. Um, and I'm actually really liking it. Um, I think getting it cut added to the shape of it. So like that helps it look way better when you kind of rock it. Um, when you just let it do whatever it wants to do, the cut definitely helps. Um, the shape looks amazing, so um, that has definitely been um, a game changer in my hair routines for my wash and goes. And today we're going to be doing a twist out because I want to see how that looks now. Well, I'm hoping that it's going to have a lot more volume this time since I got it cut. Like you can already see from the back, like the back is so much more full um, since I've gotten it cut. So I'm really excited to see how that's going to turn out. But yeah, so I deep conditioned it last night with um dr jackie's i keep looking in the viewfinder like it's so i'm gonna try not to do that and also my glasses are so reflective i got these new glasses well not new you guys have seen me in them but they're so reflective and you can see everything and yeah so i'm gonna go wash my hair and then get to it and i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys are not subscribed please subscribe below and yeah, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of reels there. So you guys can see some of the other stuff I get up to. So comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. I just finished washing my hair. And now we're about to get into it. So I'm going to be using the Pantene Gold Series for my hairstyle today. This isn't a new brand. This has been out for forever now. Over a year. Or even more than that. Um, but the products that I used to use just haven't been doing it for me anymore. So I'm going to be using this and I got only three things I didn't get everything I got the hydrating buttercream I got the curl defining pudding and the intense hydrating oil so that's what I'm gonna be using for today's hairdo and yeah all right let's get into it Three products, keep it simple. The more product, the more build up. So keep it simple. I have already detangled my hair from in the shower and now I'm doing the bottom half right now. So I'll just part it to your liking. And I did about four to five twists if I can remember in the back of my head. I don't like to do them super small, that's just me. But yeah, this time detangling my hair and also just brushing through it was so much easier. Less breakage, less hair in the comb and in the detangling brush. So now I'm adding the um, hydrating buttercream to the hair. That's the first product that I apply and just working that through from ends to roots. And now I'm applying the gel. The, I mean the curling pudding, excuse me. Ends to roots, just like the first product. And you always wanna brush through your hair. You always wanna make sure it's fully detangled and combed through so you can get the best twist you can. The more detangled, the more defined they will be. And just go ahead and start twisting. And then you can also brush as you go along the farther you get down. You want to continue brushing just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. So now we have moved to the middle section of my head. Um, the crown area that sees the most breakage, unfortunately. So you definitely want to make sure that this area um, gets some loving care. Make sure you work that product in. Make sure every hair strand gets some. Yeah, like everyone, when people are getting their hair cut, when you see tutorials of people doing silk presses, it's always the crown area with the crazy breakage.
and comb through as you work through the twist just to make sure everything is smooth. And we are done. That is it. Super simple and easy like always. Anyone wants to get into natural hair, I promise you, you can do it. It is not that hard. It's not always fun, but I promise you it's not as hard as it looks. I just want to note, the products were super moisturizing. Um, they were super moisturizing. Like as soon as I put it in my hair, I felt like the difference immediately. The cake down process is always super long. Like I think in my head, it's gonna be fast, but it ends up taking me like 20, 30 minutes to take these down. Well, to get it to exactly how I want it to be, you know, because after you unravel them, you gotta do the separated and fluffing, and that takes some time. Are you guys seeing the shine? Do you guys see that shine? Cause I know I see it. I just want to know, do you guys see it? And those defined curls. Yes, that is what we want. That is what we are going for every time we do these twist outs. And I'm using a pick to just kind of make it a little more full and more voluminous. Give it some body, all that good stuff. y'all see this y'all see that movement you see how it just moves <laughs> that cut really worked in that shine i know y'all see it mm. so this is the final look guys of my twist out came out great it's super moisturized and shiny the curls are nice and defined the shape you guys see this shape you guys see the shape and the back is full just like i hoped it would be Comment, like, and subscribe if you have not already. And head over onto Instagram and follow me if you haven't, McKay.Brown. And yes, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys on my next one.